Hello friends and welcome back to Study Tonight. In this React series, up until now we have covered a lot of things. We in the last video we covered about states, and in this video we'll talk more about states. Yes, in the last video I just gave you an introduction to states where I used you know a simple variable that I set as a state variable and then I utilized it. Right. In this particular video we'll talk about how we can use a list of values and set it as a state variable. So for list of values we will be using array. and we will learn about how you know we can set array as a state variable then we'll also cover how we can you know use a function to set the initial value for the state variables then we'll have some event handling done uh, to you know add more values to that particular array which is in the state and remove so we will work on understanding how we can update values in those uh, you know array uh, which is set as a state variable and based on that the user interface will change So a lot of things will be covered in this particular video so watch this video till the end i will be covering a lot of concepts like destructuring of array how to use filter function on array to you know remove uh, values from array how we can use map so we have already covered how we can use map function in array to you know iterate over the array and to perform some operation maybe you know create user interface using jsx so all those things i've covered in previous videos If you are watching this video directly, I would seriously recommend you to watch the previous videos as well. I have covered everything that one should know while learning React JS in 2023. All the modern concepts, all the modern syntax, starting from the video one till this video. So let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, I have a blank uh, component. My app component has nothing inside of it. So we'll create everything in this video itself so this can be a little long video but please follow the video till the end and i would recommend you to write code side by side along with me so that you understand whatever i'm writing and when you write code the chances of you remembering everything and understanding the concepts are more so please write code with me so what i'll do is uh, the intention that i have like i've mentioned so we'll create a simple array of strings uh we'll create an array with some string values let's say student name so we'll do that right we'll set this in state uh we know that okay we can use the use state hook and uh, when we use this we have to provide a variable and a setter function so we have covered this in the last video as well watch that video if you have not seen it already then what we will do is we will set an initial value for this array using a function right and we'll have a couple of so in the user interface let's say you know we'll display all the values that are there in the array and maybe you know we'll have a remove button to update or remove values from array and as we remove the value from the array the ui should get updated and we'll have some you know form uh, let's see we can have an input form or we can simply have buttons with some values uh, whenever a user clicks on any button it gets added to the array and it starts showing at the bottom of the list just like existing elements of the array so this is what we will be doing now this is a very good start now i'm not jumping directly on to do application or other uh, simple projects but i'm giving you an introduction of how you can handle array when they are set as state variables so once you have an understanding of this i think then creating a to do list application or any other small application would be you know a piece of cake for you In the next video I'll also cover form handling because that is also another very important aspect uh, whenever you are creating any web application chances are you will be creating forms so you should know how you can handle forms in react js so without delay let's get started so what I'll do over here is uh, let me just first create a function because like I said you know we will be uh, creating a state variable which will be an array and the value the initial value uh, will be populated in that particular state variable using a functions so let me start with uh, creating a simple function let's say const create data right and uh, so i'm using the arrow function style and this will just create a simple array we can directly return the array as, as well but i want to you know uh show this to you so that you guys don't get confused john ron uh the uh, okay so we have an array and we will just return this array from this function now we have a function which is returning an array to us uh now let's use the state so let's define our state 
uh, let's say students is the state variable and set student students is the function set of function then we use the use state hook it is automatically imported by vs code and inside of this i will use the create data function to set the initial value for my students state variable now this is set right how we can know that this is set i'll just simply print this over here and i'm getting all the values abhishek john ron aditya but this is not how i want to show it i want a simple user interface so i'll be using a map function over here to showcase all the values so students dot map this is something that we have covered in the previous videos so i would recommend you to please go check those videos out and also if you have not subscribed to the channel please to subscribe to the channel so in the map function we will set another callback so we'll have a callback function we're creating an anonymous function which will take the value and the index let's say and inside of this i want to create uh, let's say so i have a couple of classes already created in my css file for button and for you know basic card ui so i'll be using card and flex a bar okay all right inside of this let me just have a span and in this i will add the values let's see if we're getting anything or not we are not getting anything why that's the case let me just see if the terminal is running or not npm start okay this looks like it is working fine but why we're not seeing anything uh we have this i think code should not cause any problem we have a div over here and we are showcasing the value we are iterating over students yep i think this is fine what's happening over here so i've started a new port but still we are not seeing any user interface why we are not seeing any user interface this is uh okay sorry sorry so that's how we do it when we use a map function we have to return from inside of it then only the user interface will be created because uh what is happening over here is guys so the map function uh, operates on each of the values of the array students and it will return jsx code so then only you know this app component will get the jsx code so that it can also in turn return it so now as you can see we are getting abhishek john ron aditya all the user interface is created for each of the array elements now i will also create a button quickly with x so this button will be used to uh you know delete uh the array elements right so that's what we have to do right we have to update values in the state so let's stick with this apart from this what i want to create is i want uh, a few buttons with more values let's say ram jenny some buttons on the top that will you know allow us to add more values so i don't want to get into the trouble of creating an input field because that will be a lot of new things for you in the next video where i will cover form handling where we will create more input fields and we'll see how we can handle those for now let's just simply create buttons when we click on that button the value get added to the array right so ram jenny mohit and what else what else what else i'm not able to get you know think about name so let's do this okay so i'll add some classes to this just to make this look a little better okay this is looking nice uh do we have any other class flex apart card is there okay all right so let's just quickly copy all this
Let's just remove this. Why this is sticking to each other? Okay, I have to use flex apart as well. All right. So now the UI looks nice. We have these buttons. These buttons are for removing the element and these are for adding new values to the uh, this particular array, right? Now, when a user clicks on all these buttons, we'll have to have an on-click handler so that you know whenever a user is clicking on these buttons, a function is triggered which will internally update the value of the state variable which is our array. So here I'll provide two things. One is that I'll have a value attribute with the value that I want to add and I'll have an on-click new uh, attribute added which is like add to arrays or you know add students. Okay, so I'll quickly copy this all of these and I'll update the name Chani Mohe. So what I'm doing over here is in this button what I've done is I've added a value attribute because when the button is clicked inside the add students function what I will do is I will get access to this button element and I'll pick the value for the value attribute. I will not get into this content part rather I will pick the use the value attribute and that's the right way to do it. Even in input fields we use the value attribute to pick the values from that particular field right. So let's quickly create this add student function so that this error also goes away. Cons add students and there is a new concept over here that we will be learning right. So we have an add students function. Now in case of event handling what happens is when any particular JSX element is clicked if we are triggering any function like in this case we are triggering the add students function. Now this add student function gets an event or you know this is not an event actually this is so we can also take so let's keep this event only. So this event variable holds the complete access of this particular uh, button whichever JSX element is clicked. So we can get access to that particular element inside the function which is triggered when that particular element is clicked. It's not just about clicking it's it can be any type of event handling on change on mouse over anything. So what I can do over here is if I do this let me show you guys first. I do event dot target. So this is the way to get access to this particular button element. So if I go to inspect and to console we can skip this part. So this is again uh, I have mentioned this in earlier videos as well whenever you are iterating over any particular array or any list of values in JSX it is expected that each root element which is in this case div so students.map is iterating over the student array and we have this div element so it, the react expects that okay you provide a key to it which is unique so that each of the element is treated uniquely so now the error is gone I've just added a key we will not be using it so don't worry about it now let's quickly click on any of the buttons so let's click on the ram button as you can see what I've what we have done is in the add students function I've logged event dot target so I'm getting complete access of the button which is clicked which is in this case is the ram right if I click on Jenny I'm getting the access to Jenny then move it then move it right so th that's how you know we get access to whichever element is clicked uh, or you know whatever event is initiated from any JSX element inside the function which is handling that event right so similarly we can also get the value so if I do this now I'll get the value attribute so if I click on ram I'm getting ram over here if I'm clicking on Jenny I'm getting Jenny over here if I'm clicking on Mohit I'm getting Mohit over here so that's how you get values out of any particular JSX element and then you can use them inside your react.js code. So what we will do over here is we will be adding this value into our array which is students and that's a state variable. Now you cannot update value in the state directly you will have to use the set students function because this is a constant variable if I try to you know maybe use this uh, push function right to add a value to it react will give you an error so you cannot do that also another thing over here is so let me just quickly get the value first okay so this is how you get the value now I have the value inside of this variable and I want to add this to the existing students variable the moment I do that automatically my user interface will have another value 
because this is set as a state and when you update the state the ui uh, for that particular component is re-rendered so i just have to figure out how i can update the value inside the students variable and everything will start working for me right so how can i do that you will say okay use the set students function right because that's how you update value in the state you have a set to set function to uh, you know control the value update the value inside the state variable but this set students function is for an array so i'll have to provide a new array over here and the existing all the existing values will be gone so if i do this and if i click on ram now the array that i had initially with all these value got updated and got just one single value which was ram so that's not what i want i want the existing values to stay and ram should be updated to that so how i can do that now one way would be or the only way would be you create a new array you copy all these existing values to that array and then you know you uh, add append whatever new value you want to add in this case ram jenny whatever and then you set that new array to the state right so that way is we can update the value so let's quickly do that so how i can do that is i can create a new array and i can assign all the values that i have in the existing array so this is destructuring of array this style is called destructuring of array what is happening over here is this is a syntax that you know these three dots are destructuring this can be used with objects as well and this can be used with uh, arrays as well so what it will do is it will break down the array into pieces all the values and it will one by one assign all those values to the new array i can also add a value while i am doing these structuring so i can do this also now what this will do is this will use all the values available in the students array and it will also add another value in this case the value which is uh, you know provided by the button click uh, if we click on ram ram comes over here and we use all the value of the existing array which is abhishek john ron aditya and we add ram to it and assign it to the new array and then what we can do is we can simply call set students and provide the new array and we are done so that's how you append values to an array which is set as a state variable so let's see if it's working or not so if i had jenny right so now as you can see whenever whatever you know new button we are clicking on that's getting added to our existing array and that's reflecting on the user interface as well so one thing we have learned how we can add new values to a list of existing values that is set in the state that's how you do it there's another short way so you can simply directly without even if you don't want to create a new variable you can simply do this uh add this over here that's also fine you know the code is a little less uh you can also you know remove this right but as a beginner you should write descriptive code and in a single line we are done right now it should still work the same way right this is working fine for us and the user interface is getting changed now this is exactly the same that you can do for a to do application as well you just have to have an input field in the input field you write any to do you click on the add button the task gets added to existing array of tasks and it is displayed below you know in the to do application so this is same and in a lot of places this same concept will be used so this is very useful how you can add values to a array list of values that is set in the state now let's see how we can remove the values so we have already created this cross button we want when we click on this cross button we want to remove that particular value from the array so let's quickly create a on click handler over here remove student and what we will do is we will again have a value attribute over here and we'll assign this value over here so what we are doing is on this particular uh let me quickly create this function as well so that this error is removed right okay so what we are doing over here is in this button we had this earlier we just had the x uh, text which is displaying over here now i want that whenever this button is clicked this abhishek gets removed so what i will do is i will add an on click event handler so i associated the click event handler for all of these remove student will be triggered i have also added a value attribute to these buttons so if i inspect these buttons now you will see
that each of this button has a value. So this button has Abhishek value. In the next one, it has John value. And in the next one, it has Ron value. So I've used this val, which I'm getting from the map callback function, and I've added it to value attribute. So now whenever this X button is clicked, I'll pick this value. I'll look for that value in the array, and I'll just remove that value, right? So we will be using value to find out the uh, same value inside the array, and we'll just remove that, right? So in this on click function, uh, this remove student function, what we will do is the first thing is again, we get the value that we want to remove, right? How we do that? We use this event argument over here. We do event dot target dot value. Now this dot value is being used to get the value. You can also get another other attributes like type. Maybe, you know, in input type, there's a type attribute type text number radio checkbox etc so you can use type as well to get the type and there are a lot of other uh, you know properties as well so we will learn all about them in the next video so for this let's do use the value property and we get the value over here now we want to remove this value so how we will do that in this case you know we uh, destructured the array and added a new value and that was the only thing that we have to do now again we cannot use, uh, you know, remove or any other method that's already available in JavaScript for this case. We'll have to create a new array and in that particular array, we'll have to remove uh, whatever value we want to remove. So one way would be you can simply use a for each loop or a normal for loop to iterate over the existing students array and one by one check if else and you can, you know, simply remove uh, wherever, you know, you match this value with existing uh, value. So for example, you're iterating over students and Abhishek has to be removed. So we'll check, okay, if val is equal to is equal to Abhishek or val is equal to is equal to whatever the current uh, iterating element of the students is. If they match, you remove it. If they don't match, you keep it. So it's simple, right? But there's a special high order function available in JavaScript to do that. And that is the filter function. So we will be using the filter function for this. Yes, we have to use the modern things that JavaScript is providing. So how we will do it, we'll create a new array, let's say new array. And we'll use the filter function on the existing array. And how this filter function works is, it again takes an internal, uh, you know, a callback function, uh, getting the value. And now from this filter function, whenever we return true, the filter function will keep that particular value. For example, you know, we are iterating over Abhishek, John, Ron, Aditya. So for the first iteration, if I return false, then Abhishek will be removed from this new array. It won't be added to it. If I, let's say for John, I return true, John will be kept in the new array. Ron, if I return true, it will be kept in the new array. So that's how the filter function works. So what we will do is, we'll check if val is equal to is equal to, okay, uh, let's say, student remove this let's say we have named the variable as remove this because otherwise it would be same val val so if remove this is equal to is equal to val i just have to return true that's it i have to do this else i have to sorry i did it i have to return false so if i return false over here so what i'm doing is just you know take a deep breath and try to understand we have this remove this uh, element uh, this is having the value whichever you know cross button will be clicked we will get the name over here so if, if john is clicked we get john in this remove this variable and when we have this what we are doing is we are iterating over we are using the filter function to cycle over iterate over the existing values and what this filter function does is it takes an internal callback function and will provide one by one each of the values what we have to do is if we return false for any particular cycle, uh, this particular filter function will remove that value from the array, from the new array. And if we return true, it will keep the value. So what we are doing is we are saying that, okay, if we remove this, whatever value we want to remove is equal to is equal to the current value that is uh, being cycled in the array. We are returning false so that that value gets removed. So let's see if this works for us. Okay, so one thing we have to do is we have to use the set students function to set this new array in the state right so now let's see if things work for us right so they are working if i'm clicking on abhishek abhishek gets removed so what's happening is when i click on abhishek when i click on abhishek remove this gets the value abhishek we cycle over the existing state variable using filter 
and when abhishek matches the first value abhishek we are returning false so that's getting removed from new array rest all of the values we are returning true so all of those values are kept and we are setting that in the state so that's what is happening so if i click on this removed aditya removed jenny added mohit added jenny removed supriya added john removed ram added so now we know how we can update uh an array that is set in the state and this is very good use case because there are a lot of uh, you know practical applications for this you will be using array maybe you know an array of object uh, uh, you know a json array that you will be setting in the state and you will have to update values in it you will have to remove you will have to add more values to it and this is how it is done so you always have to create a new array with all the values existing values and the new value that you want to add and then set it to the state so that's what we have learned over here we have used the destructuring uh, you know operator which makes it super easy to do this and then if you have to remove any particular value from an array then you can use the filter high order function now this is something that i talked about in the last video as well so whenever you are you know working with array in the react js two functions are very important filter and map but you should also know about reduce and for each so these four function you should definitely you know learn how you can use it because that they you know sometimes becomes a little tricky for a beginner to understand because there is a call back attached to it sometimes it becomes difficult you know how we can use that but yes once you start understanding once you the picture becomes clear in your head then it will be a piece of cake for you right so in this video we have covered a lot of things as you can see we created a function that we used in the use state to set the initial value for the students uh, array so this was set we have a set students function to you know update this value whenever we want we created a simple user interface uh, that user interface was you know we had some buttons to add new value to the array and we also displayed all the value existing values in the students array using the map function right now on this we had an on click event handler to add values and on the existing values we created this cross to sort of you know remove the values from the array and that's what we did over here right yep we had this add students function to add the values to the student a uh, state and we use the set students function we use the destructuring uh, operator to destructure and add value new value to the array and the remove student we use the filter high order function to you know return false to for the values that we want to return and return to for value we want to add or we want to keep in the array we created a new variable and then use the set students to set it into the state and that's how whenever you update the state your user interface is automatically updated so this was it for this particular class i know it was a long video but i hope you follow this video by writing the code side by side so that you can understand whatever i'm doing and you can you know uh, follow it step by step as we move on with writing code right so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if they are also learning react js please follow uh, you know stay tonight subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon so that you know whenever i upload new videos i've been uploading new videos regularly since the past you know 10 15 days and this was the 10th video more videos will be coming i'll be covering more advanced concepts in react js and we'll also create some projects some cool applications so stay tuned and keep learning